And right now it's slamming right up against the splitter there. But hopefully we'll start having those splitters arrive. Yes, we will. See if that will work any better. Come on, let there be room. Still no room. Wow, okay. And partly because there's just no room on this belt. Which means we're probably sending too much down this way. Yep, almost certainly sending too much down that way. So let's see if we can do any better. What if we were to pull part of this off right away? Wow, it's still not fitting in. That's crazy. Let's see, where can we... What we will have to do is actually bring it in and start feeding a second line straight into the main system. Which is something I always expected I would have to do, but we've hit that point a little sooner than I had anticipated. All right. Where is that happening? That's happening, yeah, over at our uh, new base, as, as expected. Yeah, so that goes to there. That will now go to there. Okay, and then underpass right there. Okay. Faster still? Looks like it. Alright. So yeah, it looks like the primary problem is just not getting iron there fast enough. Wow. Well, we don't have this... We're not requesting this style of belt yet, but we should be soon. Oh wow, and we're not... Okay, yeah, so our, our ability to speed the factory up is being slowed down by our... That's interesting, actually. Alright, let's grab those. I've got a little bit of this super fast belt, but not nearly enough. It may be we've just hit in the carrying capacity of those belts, at least until we get something new up and running here. We'll have to go look at those uh, circuit boards as well. Let's see what we can do here. Can we speed this up at all? A little? There we go. A little better, anyways. Okay. Still not doing ideally here. But let's see what we can do. So we need iron to be faster to make... the, um... Yeah, oh, of course it is. So let's see, where are we running into trouble now? We are now just not producing it fast enough. Which is sort of where I figured we were heading. So let's expand it. So that is... we can't lock that up. But we can block this up. So let's put two more in. Yeah, let's just get two more of these in and going. I'm running out of time for this episode, guys. This was not supposed to take quite as long as it's taken. It's supposed to be...
Okay, well, gonna have to be a pair of uh, long inserters right now. Far handed. One of these can be far handed, good. Get those up and running. Now we just need to start loading. Okay. Alright, so how are we doing here? We need a lot more iron to start coming down this line. So let's start moving it down faster. Whoops. these to leave faster. Okay. So... This factory needs a crazy amount more gear production, doesn't it? I should really have left myself more room. I guess I could give my give myself more room here. Especially once I get rid of this crazy mess. Alright, let's get rid of all that top steel bearing related stuff. Good. Get rid of that. Okay. So what we could do is just move the whole thing over so that there's enough room for double line factories here, like there should have been right off the bat. Ooh, military research done. We could get lasers. What else do we have? We've got alien research. Great, that's the next tier up from that. Robot attack drones. Cordite. Ooh. Some new kinds of bullets could be useful. Explosive rocketry. I gotta start making explosives. Alright, we're getting up in tungsten tier stuff. See, okay, yeah, here we are. These all require titanium parts now instead. Uh, this one only requires aluminum. I'm gonna be starting to make aluminum soon. At least that was my plan before I was rudely interrupted. Tell you what, I'm gonna upgrade this off camera. I'm basically just gonna slide the whole thing over to make a double row. So basically I'm going to double the production of gears here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I know what our problem might be. Yep, we've crashed. Okay, change plan C. I'm going to go start making some more power. Okay, fine, you guys can stay. i got to go uh, install a whole crap ton more solar panels now that the whole factory's running. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. The power, power systems just run run up against a wall. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get on the wood train. We need to tell you to just do that. Away you go. That's actually not a bad way to control where these things go. And we'll go over there and we'll make a whole bunch We'll expand the solar array a whole bunch here. Alright, stop the train. Out we get. Okay, so yeah, everything's run out of power. And let's see, how early in the night did we run out? We ran out... Quite early, yeah. Like... Man, we're not even fully capping them, so... It could be that our solar panels aren't... Our ratio here is bad. That is a possibility I had sort of contemplated, but now seems quite likely. You've got a lot of extra stuff here, but no walls, which is a really worrisome problem. Okay. Well, let's figure out how we're going to do this. Grab this. Start with uh, that right there.
Did I stop that train? I don't recall if I stopped that train. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, that's that. It's a good thing this is a pollution-free base, to be honest. Excellent. Now let's see what we can squeeze in here. Actually, I think what we want to do is we want to... There we are, cleared that. Let's get one that has the integrated RoboPort network, because that's what we're going to actually need. Let's see if we can make this work proper. It's interesting. I thought it had been changed so that it could um, place stuff in illegal... It would... Oh, there we are. Okay, you hold down Shift and click, and that does it. Let's just put these in, not in there, but in here. There we go. Now what I might have to do is actually start building... Okay, we'll just put these right here. Well, that worked out okay. I just replant, no problem. Get me out of here. Another accumulator. Now we're probably going to have to take out some biters now. This base has honestly not seen a lot of trouble from them, so I think we'll be okay. Alright, so here we go. Next batch of solar cells. Okay, so the design really only needs to have the blueprint needs to ignore one of those. I think we'll know that, ignore the lower one. There we are. Okay. What are we missing now? Solar panels. Should not be missing solar panels that quickly. Take my solar panels, you stupid thing. Take my accumulators that I'm somehow car carrying for some bizarre reason. And what are we still missing? We're still missing... the zone expanders, which I now have six of. Why do I have so many of them? Alright, so that did not get inserted quite right. But that's all right. I am not going to try to reposition all this. We're just going to expand the whole thing. No questions asked. That one. I'm gonna have to add these to the uh, explore into the expansion to the network. I think. Okay. Oops. Apparently, we accidentally doubled up on those. We're almost charging. Oh my god. Okay. So what's happened is we've hit just barely. We'll have to go through and clean that up off camera. All right, 
click. I'm going to do one more copy. We're almost at the point. There we go. I think that's going to be the finished one. Okay, let's put them a little closer together. And those bases right there are going to be a problem, I can tell you that right now. Alright, am I out of logistics uh, things? Yes, I am. And now we really are out of the important stuff. walls here. Alright, so the next thing to do will be to get we gotta be careful. Those those guys are really close. Let's get one of those uh a couple uh, logistics-based uh, turret rigs here. And then maybe we'll use some turrets to go and maybe clean up a couple of the nearby bases. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh my god. Holy crap. These things are not getting their ammo. Because there's no power. There's no power because I haven't hooked it up proper. Come on, power up, power up. There we are. Oh, phew. That was close. Alright, well now that they've decided we are a problem. Let's get another one of these up. right here. Do I have any of those towers left? I think I'm going to go grab one from down here and use it to expand the logistics network up there. Okay, so we've got to be realistic about where we actually need this network to go. And that's the important part of it, right there. So this is going to be my cover while I do something completely stupid and idiotic. Like trying to figure out if I can take out this base right here. Or this base right here. I think I can. There's actually not that much there. Oh man. Okay. We've got 50 turrets. We've got not even remotely close to enough ammo on us. Let's go get the ammunition. Because we had tons of it in this base. So if I take that along, I should be able to survive a base creep attempt. Or a, tur a little bit of a turret creep. Mini turret creep. I'm going to try and uh, back myself up with these. Okay. These are scary. All right, a couple more turrets. Oh my gosh, those things are tough. All right, accepting that these things are way stronger than they looked, and that I really need these to not be so close to my very important um, 
outpost here, my solar outpost. Okay. Yeah, and then we need to get into higher level um, military tech here as soon as possible. Okay, good. Just that one with that spitter base over there to take care of. Good, okay. That gives us a lot more breathing room for this solar base here. Which is good, because we are going to need to expand it immensely, I think. Because we had a power crash in the middle of the day, or we were just barely recharging. So we're going to need to go back and get another big batch of solar panels. Now what I will do off camera is I will get the materials, expand this base here, because so I, I, I will be growing this solar field immensely over the next, uh, between this episode and the next, well as much as I can afford to do, because right now our accumulators are at least uh, staying alive for the day, but I don't know if we have enough to stay alive during the night. I think I need to double, I think I need more accumulators actually. I think I probably need to do a nice big substation with just accumulators. So let's set that up. Let's actually design that. Let's set up a, what's known as a, I don't have, I have too much of one aspect because of the longer day night cycle facility. And we do not have enough accumulators to do that, do we? Six there, seven there. That's 23. It's certainly gonna, not going to be enough for a full square, but let's see what we can do. Let's see. Oop, another automation tech. Wow. Let's see. Laser turret shooting speed. What should we research? Explosive rocketry? Sure, let's get rockets. All right, and that is not connected to our network, our power net, because bad placement. But that's what we need, is we need more things charging during the day. Okay, let's go back to the main base. This whole space is completely locked in proper. Way too many substations in here. So I think what I need to do is I need to go home, I need to get the solar panels myself and bring them over. But that'll be the job for the next episode, guys. <sighs> I really don't like using the bay, the turret creep, but some days that's just what you gotta do. Okay. Thanks very much for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.